This is how HKDSE University Entrance Exam in Hong Kong ask a logarithmic question. And this is from the 2023 paper 1 question number 18. Let's have a look. So we have alpha 7 and beta, they are in geometric progression. And then we know that 1 is less than alpha is less than beta. And the first part is that we are going to express log base 7 of alpha in terms of log base 7 of beta. This part, in fact, is not so bad. The worst part is part B. And it just took me a while to do it. And then when I was solving myself before I recorded this video, I was just asking myself, do you really have to make this test like so hard? But anyway, though, let's start with part A. Right here, because we know that we have alpha, 7 and beta in a geometric progression. So that means we have the common ratio that must be 7 divided by alpha. In the meantime, that must be beta divided by 7. And then from here, we can just cross multiply. So that's 49 equals alpha times beta. And because I want to get alpha by itself, so I divide the beta on both sides. Alpha equals 49 over beta. So as we can see, this will be log base 7 of 49 over beta. Oops. And then just use the log property, we split this up. So this is log base 7 of 49 minus log base 7 of beta. And then because 49 is the same as 7 squared, so 7 and 7 cancel, we have 2, and then minus log 7 of beta. And that is it for part A. And this is only three marks. Now, part B, we have these three things in arithmetic progression, and we are going to find the common difference. Because they are in arithmetic progression, that means when we do this minus that, we will have the same difference than this minus that. So that will be the connection. So let's just go ahead and set up. Log base 7 of beta minus log base beta of alpha equals log base of alpha of beta and then minus log base 7 of beta. Okay, and then I'm just going to move this to the other side. So we have 2 times log base 7 of beta and then perhaps let's move that to the other side. So we have log base alpha of beta plus log base beta of alpha. And now you might be wondering, now what, right? Well, this is log base alpha and this is log base beta. But here we have log base 7. And also, we have log base 7 here. So it would be a good idea to change this in terms of log base 7. So we use the change of base formula. This right here stays. And then this right here, we take log base 7. So we have log base 7 of beta on the top over log base 7 of alpha. And then we add log base 7 of alpha over log base 7 of beta. <sighs> and then you, I think you pretty much see it. And this is like the moment like, are you serious? And I think they are that serious because this and that appeared earlier. Yes, we are going to plug in this into here and here. And then we are just going to solve for what log base n of beta is because that way we will be able to figure out beta and then after that we should be able to figure out alpha and then of course we should be able to figure out the common difference. So that's how I did it. I'm not sure if there's an easier way. If you know the easy way, please let me know. But anyway though, I'm just going to call this x. It's easier that way. So we are looking at the equation right here. 2x, right, 2x equals, that will be x, that will also be x. And then plus 2 minus x over x. All right. And then right here, I'm just going to clean the fraction by multiplying everybody by x and also 2 minus x. So when I take this times that, we have 2x squared, distribute, we get 4x squared. So I'll put it down right here. And then 2x squared times negative x is negative 2x to the third power. And then just continue. So here we have this and that cancel. x times x is x squared. And then 
x and x cancel, we will have to do 2 minus x squared. 2 minus x squared, you just open that, we get plus 2 squared, which is 4, and then minus twice this and that, which is going to be 4x, and that's the we add this square. So that's what we have. Now, I would like to move everything to the right-hand side so that this term becomes positive. It's easier that way. So I'm looking at 0 equals. That will give us 2x to the third power. And then here is x squared plus another one. So we we'll have 2x. And then minus 4x. So we get negative 2x squared here. And then here we have the minus 4x and then plus 4. And now, at this step, it's like, hmm, this question is actually pretty well designed because you can actually factor this pretty nicely. Okay, I give them that. Seriously. Let's just do it though. So, let's factor out everybody by x first, by 2 first, sorry. So, we are looking at x to a third power minus x squared. So, from here we can factor out x squared. And then I will have x minus 1. And then we factored the out 2 already, so this is 2 and 2. So, we can factor out a minus 2. And then this will also give us x minus 1. This and that can be factored out. So we are looking at 0 equals 2 times x minus 1 times x squared minus 2. And since we have been doing a lot of factoring, we might as well factor this as well. So this is 0 equals 2 times x minus 1 times use the difference of 2 squares 2 is the same as square root of 2 squared, so x minus square root of 2 times x plus square root of 2. So from here, we know x is equal to 1, square root of 2, or negative square root of 2. So let me just write that down here. And remember, x is equal to what? It was equal to this part, right? Log base 7 of beta. So what is x though? Let me tell you, x is square root of 2. Why? Because remember, we still have this connection. If x is negative square root of 2, if you put it here, you will get log base 10 of alpha equals 2 plus square root of 2. And that will imply alpha will be bigger than beta, which contradicts with this condition. So now this. And then if you plug in 1 into here, then 2 minus 1 is still 1. And we are looking at log base 10 of alpha equals 1. Alpha is equal to 7. But if x is equal to 1, beta is also equal to 7. Again, contradict this. So it must be square root of 2. So from here, we know that log base 7 of beta equals square root of 2, which implies beta equals 7 to the square root of 2 power. Log base 7 of alpha equals 2 minus square root of 2, which implies, just do the 7 to the power on both sides, so alpha equals 7 to the power of 2 minus square root of 2. But here we are not done yet because the question is asking us for the common difference. So let me write this down right here, d equals, let's do this minus that, so we have log base 7 of beta minus, and let's use the change base formula for that. So we have log base 7 of alpha over log base 7 of beta. Now, this right here is square root of 2 minus, this right here is 2 minus square root of 2. Lastly, this right here is square root of 2. And then, Let's split the fraction inside. 2 over square root of 2 is square root of 2. And then square root of 2 over square root of 2 is 1. So it's a minus 1. And now square root of 2 minus square root of 2 is just 0. And then minus minus becomes positive. So the final answer for this right here is just equal to 1. <laughs>